Hey everyone, it's Andy here. I've just driven about four, four and a half hours to my closest Saratoga fishing. Saratoga are really underrated um, and they're one of Australia's great sport fish. Uh, Central Queensland is where I'm at and it's a natural fishery. There's not a, not a dam or a lake or anything here. These are natural fish so enjoy the video and I think we're going to be in for some good fishing. It's quite late. I'm going to stay here the night and then fish tomorrow as well. Oh, missed it. Where is he? Where's he got it? He's got it, yes! Oh, I wasn't sure there. Oh. Get away from the trees. Yeah, I didn't think he had it there. Had a swirl and I didn't... Oh, that's a nice fish. Big one too. Look at the swirl here. Yeah, it's a good sized fish. Oh, he's going back in the tree. That's where he came from. Oh, he's only just, just hooked on the side of the mouth. Got him. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh, very nice. What a beautiful fish. I reckon he's about 70 centimetres. And um, yeah, I love surface lures. Hey, let you go, buddy. Let's get back in the water fish. There you go. I'll just hold him for a little while. His tail's moving. Let's see if he'll swim off. Okay, off you go, buddy. Oh! <laughs> Wet the crap out of me. little sticking out bush. I like these things. Oh, yep. <laughs> Missed him. Uh, oh, and he fired it. Bugger. Let's try again. I think I've missed him. Oh, missed it. He had it, but missed it. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> I was just about to give up on that cast. Oh, wow. Oh, and that didn't take very long at all. I've only been here about 20 minutes or so. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> oh, my heart is going. Love these fish. They just so great. Oh, the way they hit and jump. Oh, beautiful. Got a really nice light drag on here because I don't want to damage the fish or pull the hooks. Oh, and these hooks on these lures are, um, yeah, they're really good quality, really sharp, straight out of the box. Got him. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Nice way to start my trip. Look at him. There we go. I'll just hold him up real quickly. He's about a oh, 70, I'm going to say even 75 centimetre fish. Oh, that depth. That is a beautiful Saratoga. Hopefully he's all in the shot there. Try and get him in the light for you. Oh, look at that. Big mouth on him. Hey, big fins. They're just a, a cool fish. Alright, let's let him go. Hey, off you go. Oh, almost got me. <laughs> cool, that was cool. Let's try one out in the open. I just scared one with the canoe. So there could be just cru big cruising fish out here. 
Oh, we just missed it. There you go. No sooner did I say it, and I've got one. <laughs> oh, I dropped him. Bugger. I literally just spotted one here, or scared one, and then I thought, I'll just try that theory. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, another big fish. Oh, I dropped him. Oh, I do have very hard bony mouths. Yep, now those hooks are still still sticky. That was a cool fish. Well, that's fishing for the day. Let's go back to the car and make a little Nice little fire, enjoy the evening, uh, and then we'll have a nice fish tomorrow. Oh, there we go, back at camp. Got myself a nice little fire going. It's um, going to burn down, I'll, I'll cook on some coals. But uh, beautiful evening. We'll get away from the fire a little bit, and you should be able to hear the um, the crickets. Just going to get a bit of foil, wrap the corn in it, and I'm not going to unwrap the corn from the husk. I'm just going to do this, and that way the husk it'll it'll steam it inside the husk, and the foil will just stop it from getting totally burnt. So that's the corn done, that's pretty simple. And then just the same with the potato. Except for the potato we'll use a couple of layers. And then we'll just let that burn down a little bit and put them, put them in the coals. Away from the main fire. And I'll put a few more coals around that, but um, I want to keep the fire going so I can see what I'm doing. Check out who's come to look for breakfast. That's emus. That is really cool. I've never had them come in camp that close. Wow. How many of them are there? That is cool. Hey dudes. Funny critters. Oh, they're a bit scared now. I don't know if people have been feeding them or something, but they're definitely not that scared. Hey fellas, what's going on? Hey? That's just made my day. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? And they're definitely wild, like this is just the bush. That is, that is really cool. I don't think they'll let me get very close. Hey? Okay. What's the deal with that? They're off. Hey? See you guys. Two, four, six, seven, I think there is. So those emus were, were very cool just then. I like, I like being out in the bush here. If you've never been in the bush in Australia, you should go. It's, um, I mean, you don't get to see emus. They're still over there, actually. Hey, fellas? Yeah, they're coming back in again. <laughs> uh, that is that is pretty rare. I think there's a lot of young ones and one adult. Yeah, they're coming right in again. So, but unless you're out here, you don't see it. So, yeah, that's cool. Come on, trusty steed, let's go. There we go. Oh, easy does it. A beautiful morning in the bush. So yesterday I fished that side because the sun was on this side. 
Today I'll fish this side because the sun's on this side. So I'm fishing with a Samaki Zing three piece, uh, seven foot travel rod. Gonna use the um, Lively Lures Ziggy. This is a 70, 70 mil Ziggy. And uh, just running a Sienna uh, 2500 with uh, I think about 12 pound braid on it. And I'm just working, working this lure nice and slow, zig zigging, zigzagging it across the surface. Yeah, great little lure, and uh, designed by Alan for me actually, uh, my specifications, so yeah, great little lure. Ah, oh, bloody line broke. Saratoga's still on, let's get the line. Oh. Oh, I don't know if he spat it, but here's the line. Okay, Let's see if we've still got a fish on. Yep, he feels like he's on. <laughs> that is a very uncool oh, conventional way to catch a Saratoga. Oh, he's not a bad fish either. <sighs> that is bizarre. That is cool. <laughs> I get the lure back, fish gets to swim around with no lure on his face, and uh, that's cool. Let's get this line out of here. Oh. Got him. That has to be one of the weirdest fish captures ever. Look at him. Hey, beautiful Saratoga. And these ones have two and three spots on their scales, whereas the northern ones only have one spot on their scales. So these are the southern strain, the Fitzroy strain. And uh, yeah, lucky I got that lure back. Let's let this guy go. Kind of drifted in a bit shallow, but that's all right. As soon as I take the clamp off, she's just gonna take off, I'm sure. There you go, girl. Okay, off you go. Nice and gentle. Oh, how beautiful is that? That has to be one of the bizarrest catches ever. Here's on my line. And probably any other fish, I wouldn't have got him. Because Saratoga, when they get hooked, they just sit there and thrash, swim backwards, throw their mouth around. And uh, lucky this little lure. Love the ziggies. They, um, yeah, it, just, it was lodged on the side of its face. So both hooks were in, it wasn't going anywhere. But um, I'm going to retie, um, and then I'm thinking I might find another little lagoon. I've, I've been around this one once, and I find that once I've been around, around a spot once, uh, the fish shut down a little bit. So I've got the wheelies in the back, I'll show you those shortly. Um, we'll go across country and, and hit the next lagoon, that way I don't have to go back to the car, pack up and everything. I can just drag this behind me, and it's really easy. So. Keep watching. It looks like the end of this water hole. Let's go up on the bank here and find the next one. So in the old days I would have just dragged all my gear, which now weighs probably about 70 kilos. Across rocks and trees and all sorts of things. But I have a better solution for that now. So here we have a little frame made by wheelies and some nice little tyres. They were kind enough to donate these to, to me for my videos. And what we'll do is we'll put these on here under the back and then we'll just tow it that way wherever the water is somewhere yeah, I'm glad I got these. It's going to be a bit of a drag. So there we go. And that's rolling quite nicely. This is um, really uneven ground. Let's see how far we need to go. Definitely coping well with the load. And this is yeah, some really rugged country through here. Going, going quite well. 
probably only got about five kilos of weight at this end. Oh, here we go, there's the start of it. Okay, let's get in here. There we go. Pull them back up. And uh, there's, there's quite a few fish swimming around here, and I'm glad I went to the new water hole. Um, yeah, it's always good to, to cover new ground. And yeah, thank you, Wheelies, for supplying the wheels and the little trolley for me. It's um, definitely going to come in handy, and hopefully, I'll get to use it more in this trip. I'm sure I will actually. I'm going to mix it up and use a spinner bait. This is a little Samaki Zing, 4 to 10 pound, 5 foot 4 rod. And running a little Cena 1000 on it, about 12 pound line. So you might be able to see that, yeah you should be able to see that. I've put a, a, a treble on there as a stinger hook, which is not normal, normally you just put a single hook on, but um, yeah, as I said these fish are really hard to hook sometimes, so I think I got lucky last night getting two. But this rig here should work a little better. Oh yes, right near the boat. Ah, oh, and that's the treble. Oh, check the catfish out. <laughs> Let's get this guy in before he gets eaten by the catfish. So that treble worked a treat. That's literally the first, first strike and maybe about the fifth cast after I put the trebles on. There you go, it wasn't in by much. But I'll show you why they're so hard to, to catch. That's all hard. Even, even that bit there, hear that? That's all hard bony mouth there. So really the only spots you get them is here and this soft bit underneath. Let's um, have a quick look at him. He's about a, well, about a 50 centimetre one. Oh, beautiful little fish. Yeah, that catfish was cool before. Yeah, it just, oh, always splash me. Actually, there's two. I thought I saw one, but there's two Saratoga there. That's right in front of them. One's on it. He's looking at it, and he's spooked. Hmm, it's odd. There was two. Oh, hang on, he's still there. It's right on it. Oh yes! <laughs> now that is cool. Oh, at first they spooked and there was two. Now oh, he's gone. Yeah, that's cool. That is really cool. And now uh, yeah, I'm doing a bit of standing up fishing in the canoe, which is a bit interesting. That is cool. I like this fishing. If you've never tried Saratoga, definitely give it a shot. This is um. Uh, I'll oh, sit down for this. Oh, let's get this guy in. Yeah, he's only just hooked under the chin, which is an odd spot. But yeah, these fish get hooked in all sorts of weird places. Oh, yes, another nice fish. The size of these fish in here is just incredible. Oh, these Saratoga are actually a very ancient fish. They, uh, they've been probably around as long as the, the crocodiles. And, uh, yeah, I have a theory that maybe without these guys, the crocodiles wouldn't exist either. He's off. Nice. Sight casting a big Saratoga like that is just, just cool. I, I almost fell in um, before I got that one, but... I kept with it. I can't see them sitting down. Like if you can see that, there's, there's too much reflection. Where in my hand? Too much reflection on the water. But as soon as you get up higher, you get to see more. So um, yeah, I've got to stand up, and that means almost risking falling in. But I got away with it, and uh, I think I might see if I can get another one. This is fun, and the weather's just beautiful. Look at this. Look, have a look, look, look at that. Have a look at that. Have a look at that. It's just 
blue sky, bit of sun over here. Wind's not too strong, it's actually keeping me cool, so that's nice. It's one long way away, let's see if we can get in front of him. That's pretty good actually. Right near and here he goes. Oh, he missed it. Almost fell out of the canoe. Oh, a big one. Came okay, right across the front of me. Cast is perfect. He's on it. Did he get it? Yes, he's got it. Oh, yes. Please stay in. Oh, that is good. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Looks like this top is the way to go with these fish. They um they must like that that surface disturbance. Oh, he's the biggest one today, I think. Definitely the biggest one today. That's a nice fish. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, he's got to be. Yeah, he's an 80 centimeter fish. This. Let's see if I can get a, a nice shot of him out of the water. That's a nice fish. He's up around the six kilos, I'd say. Wow, look at the size of the mouth on him. Okay. Okay, there's a fish coming at me. He's on it, he's on it. Got him, yes, got him. <laughs> oh, and dropped him. He, didn't, he was never hooked. He um, had that in his mouth and then just opened his mouth and it fell out. So that's cool. That's very cool. I like this fishing. He's there a tone about five metres from the boat. Oh, that's pretty close to him. And he's on it. He's on it. Oh, missed it. Missed it completely. Well, that's it for me today. I'm going to go and jump in the car, head to another location. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you want to see more of my videos right now, I've got playlists with um, different species, different locations, blue water, creeks, jungle, you name it. I've got a playlist for it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.